Hey guys, hey guys, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Guys, welcome back to it. Another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I very much welcome. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Now, we're going to subscribe, like the video, and share it to your friends and family, and even to your strangers. And also follow me, you guys, on the other side. I am Pile Papra1 on TikTok. Twitter, it is be underscore talk. Look and do on Instagram. I'm Pile underscore Papra. As well as the Facebook page is Pile Papra. Please go and follow your sister, you guys, for your love and support. Now, you guys, let's just go through uh, this. A story is Sagazahara about her reality show. I see that the family has been uh speaking to Uzi Moja about Zahara's reality show having to continue guys uh, uh, without Zahara this time around. I hear that um she was uh, done with the season one, of course, so now uh, she was busy with the season two and still uh still uh, uh <laughs> in the talks with SAPC you guys when it comes to uh her uh, 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 big beginning with season two something like that you guys so now and then okay she fell sick and then she's no more now the family decides to continue um with season two you guys but sacrum sana been sapc and then i think they are going to continue to season two even though without a uzahara you guys and the family also sharing the fact that when i get they do not know anything you guys about the tv stuff you know anything that has to do entertainment you can do it since uzahara um they know how familiar with it that but okay i hear with the someone who's like ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone who was Zahara's best friend, uh, 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 Vusinova, who is going to be helping uh, the family. You can when it comes to Zahara's mom and his sisters, Mklambe. When it comes to everything, you can uh, that has to do with the show. The way I understand the story, this is a Kobeka, you guys, the story. Zahara, Zahara's ready TV show that is called Zahara as I Rise, something like that. So now that she's no more. The family will be continuing. They are still in the talks with SAPC. But season two, even though girl is no more. That's how I understood the story, guys. But and then I'm gonna go through it so that we can understand better, maybe than I understood. Sila Piakas Moja, you guys, by Kama Daile. She said, um, Zahara's reality show to continue after her passing, and family confirms the reality show will continue. So, so her reality a show was a hit. As so late Zahara and songwriter Ubulelo Zahara Mkutugana bashed season one of her reality show titled Zahara as Iras, which followed her journey of restoration and healing from all she has encountered since her childhood and entering the music industry. So, the reality series gave viewers an intimate view into her life and showed her uh, underneath the bubble persona marked by a glass of alcohol every day, how she lost everything after leaving TS Records and how she was fighting to fix her life as a daughter, sister and soon-to-be wife, but she died before she could shoot the second season. So back to your reality, Zahara passed on in December just before she could complete her deal with SAPC to shoot the second season and her reality show which was meant to air this year. The family member tells Uzimoja that the singer was still in talks with the SAPC and that everything was going well until she fell ill. She wanted to shoot the new season and show the Lobola celebration and everything, but she became ill. She collapsed on the day of the Lobola and things took a turn, but uh, the SAPC has approached the family and they had, have agreed to continue with the show. And they want to include her fiance as well. The family member says they plan to show life before she fell ill, narrate what happened during the time she fell ill, and life after her passing. It has not been easy. There has been a lot of speculation and conflicts which will be cleared. So the family doesn't know much about show business, but they are getting guidance from people like Vosinova, who was one of their best friends. The family member said they hope that Zahara's fiancé, Umpokaba, will get a chance to tell his side of the story. He has been painted out to be a bad guy. If the family could allow him to be part of the show because he is an integral part of her last days, it would be fair to give him a chance to speak about what they had. Zahara died on the 11th of December 2023 after being hospitalized for a month of, for what was reported to be a liver complications. Zahara's mom, Uno Kayam Kutukana, tells Zimoja that they are taking things one day at a time. God is good. We will heal. We don't want our daughter's story to go untold. She was our pillar of strength. We are still in talks with SAPC. We are from the rural area, Tina. We don't know these things are but people will help and guide us so we can go about it the right way. So this is the story of Zahara, you guys. Which, um, they are still in the talks, like I said, with SAPC to uh, to 
to continue with season two, even though she's not there. Uh, someone who's going to be helping there we had is Uvusinova, who was a friend of Uzahara. And to my work, when I got us, Luton, I listen to Zongi, you guys are my reality show and everything. But they will be guided by people who are close to Uzahara, people who know, people who are friends in this country, especially uh, people like Uvusinova. And they also decide to include her, her fiance, Umpo Kabayuka, so that I uh, share uh, the, uh, his story, you guys, as he was going to be Zahara's husband. Remember, the sisters were saying, no, he was not husband yet. He was, um, I do not know, he came to pay Lobola, but he was, he haven't fully paid Lobola, so they do not regard her as husband, but he, I do not know, maybe just, we just call her fiancé, because we did see the engagement uh, thing, you guys, so I do not know, but they want him to share his side of the story. Now again, you guys remember, when she, when she passed away, a lot was said about that guy, the sisters are alleging that, oh, he wants to take over Zahara's estates, he wants to do this, he wants to do that, I do not know, you guys but in Klaambeke Lapoka season two we will get to see exactly what was happening and the fact that it actually collapsed on the day of Lobola I do not know you guys what the hell was that one uh, something that is shocking me would she collapse on the day of Lobola negotiations uh, something that I was for I thought it was after but now they say here she collapsed on the day of her Lobola Imagine you guys. So Guning and Plumbeke when it comes to the reality show season two, we will get to understand exactly what happened, you guys. The poor girl she passed away. May her soul rest in peace with Zahara, you guys. Uh Sangatum de now Ungatola Oak Paul and Lizweni. Mklambe them doing this is gonna help them uh to I do not know you guys. Mklambe was to do Zega, they will tell her story. You guys. But anyways, it is what it is. This is the most that bring us the story. So good as Zahara's a reality show. We'll be uh, uh con will be continuing even though uh there will be no zahara but they're trying to tell her story but they cannot leave her story untold so they better do that season two as long as usapc agrees something that like that you guys so now yeah i mean you guys your thoughts on the comment section like the video subscribe if you still haven't subscribed you can then i meet you again on my next upload bye